we just follow the river? Ethan! What? <laughs> Y'all picked the wrong place to get lost in. We didn't touch anything. You call kicking my pot? That ain't touching? We're very, very sorry, sir. We meant no disrespect. We're just gonna go now. We're just gonna follow the river. You ain't getting out that way. Could you tell me the way out? I could. Lost in the remote swamp without a map or GPS for guidance, Dr. Chasney negotiated with local fisherman Bud Ray. He would be their guide for the day, sharing his knowledge and expertise before boating them out of the area. We're now following this guy named Bud Ray. If we don't make it out of here alive, somebody happens to find these tapes. You know what happened to us. You coming? Or shall we leave you behind? Tell me about the alligators. Have you noticed a decrease in the local population? They're still out there. Not as much as they used to be, but they still there. The swamp full of things you ain't gonna see nowhere else. You respect it, it'll respect you. Still, there's certain things you don't do after 30 years. You don't go wandering off by yourself, and don't go out at night. Let's go. Let's go. Come here, let me show you something. Up in here? Uh-huh. Used to be a nest of alligator eggs. They all gone now. Huh. It's like you said, too much salt in the water from the hurricane. Just a shame. Come on, let's go. Been through here. What was that? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. oh no. Oh my god. In 1963, Louisiana residents Harlan Ford and Billy Mills were hunting in the Honey Island Swampland when they came upon a remarkable discovery. They were able to film the mysterious creature they saw. See their actual footage on Lost Tapes Revelations next. In 1963, while on a hunting trip, Harlan Ford filmed this tall, hairy creature lurking in the distance. It was the first alleged documented evidence of the Honey Island Swamp Monster. No definitive conclusion about the footage was ever reached, though Harlan claimed to discover evidence of the creature for the next 13 years. Oh no. Oh my god. 
I want you to bring your camera down there and shoot something. What the hell is that? I've never seen anything like it. Look at the depression of the heel. And there's no prints to either side. It's as if it was walking upright. That's impossible. What out here walks upright? Let's get back to the camp before it get dark. I just need a few more seconds. Get the damn pictures and let's get back to the camp. This would be a classic example of what's called the three-toe. The ones that live in swamps seem to produce this kind of track, and it obviously carries a bipedal creature. Don't you think it's time to start heading back? Nope. What do you mean? I told you, it's dark. You can't be going away after dark. Well, what do you suggest we do? Stay here. Uh, what? That's very kind of you, but that's not necessary. We should Unless y'all rather stay with them gators. Gator can smell a pretty woman before I can. Y'all ready for us for supper? Uh... Sure. With Bud Ray unwilling to go into the swamp after dark, Dr. Chasney and Ethan had no option but to spend the night at camp. These footprints. Never seen anything like it in my field manuals. And you never will. No offense, but pretty much everything has been put under the microscope at this point. You know, I remember a long time ago, all the old hunters used to talk about a creature out here called the Tainted Keetri. Lived deep in the bayou, mostly kept to himself. But at night, he'd come out and hunt wild bull. Supposed to be part man, part alligator. There's no scientific basis for that. It's just the local version of the boogeyman tale. I don't know. There's noises out here I ain't never heard before. feel like there's something out here in these swamps just watching me. But I leave it alone, it leave me alone. Well, at the very least, it's a good story. Well, y'all believe what you want to believe. I'm going to bed. Coming? Y'all sleep over here. I see y'all in the morning. What the hell do you think you're doing? What? What the hell do you think what? you're doing? Be quiet! But I heard something. Take this. If anything come in here, shoot it. Oh my 
Oh my god! Oh my god! I was out before I was walking and I stepped I stepped on a nest of eggs. Oh, he's coming back! Shoot him, damn it! Shoot him again! Kill it! Is he gone? Oh God. Dr. Chasney brought the shell remains that the creature left behind back to the university lab to be analyzed. The results matched no known species. To this day, she continues her research in the Honey Island Swamp determined to find more evidence to prove the existence of this strange creature. Ethan surprisingly returned to the swamp to produce a feature documentary based on his experiences. Bud Ray survived his injuries and continues his work as a fisherman in the Honey Island Swamp, but to this day, he will not venture into the bayou after dark. Like so many others who make this land their home, they are at once cautious and respectful of what the scientific world continues to deny. Do they live among us?